Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Kia Optima SX, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do that, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. For 2019, the Kia Optima continues to offer some of the most feature-packed models you can buy in the midsize sedan segment. This year's updates are minor yet subtle styling tweaks that will help differentiate the 2019 Kia Optima from the outgoing model. Kia has also made its suite of driver aids standard across all trim levels. The 2019 Kia Optima, with its handsome style, good overall value and abundant safety technology makes a compelling case that sedans are not dead. From base LX and sporty SX to the efficient EX and hybrids, the Kia Optima meets multiple needs and, of course, multiple budgets. The 2019 Kia Optima is available in four trim levels. The base LX, which has a starting MSRP of $22,990, comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and 16-inch alloy wheels. The S trim level, which has a starting price of $24,990, is a sport-themed version of the LX with slightly different styling and tech features, okay? While the EX, which has a starting price of $26,890, gets its own unique powertrain all right that's pretty interesting right there that's when you bump up to the turbocharged engine but kia offers two different turbocharged engines for the 2019 optima the ex gets a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine that makes 178 horsepower and then you have the top of the line sx that has a starting MSRP of $31,990. As you can see, it gets a 2-liter motor that's putting out $245. Yep, it's more expensive, but it's more powerful turbocharged engine and additional tech and luxury features are quite enticing. And that is why we are going to build in price a 2019 Kia Optima SX on this video. So it's true. Every trim level, every configuration of the 2019 Kia Optima comes well equipped with not only luxury and convenience features, but safety aids as well, with Kia making its full suite of driver assistance technologies standard on every Optima for 2019. Now, my choice, that said, would still be the top tier SX model because I like both the refreshed interior and exterior styling touches that are unique to the SX. I also like its turbocharged 2 liter powertrain, and even when fully loaded, it's priced very competitively among its rivals. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2019 Kia Optima SX. And I just got done talking about or mentioning the word, I said the word rivals. And speaking of rivals, I just did a build and price review of one of the 2019 Kia Optima's biggest rivals, the 2019 Ford Fusion. So if you're interested in that sedan, I'm going to go ahead and put a link up in the corner right now. Okay. Before we move on, let's look at these exterior colors up here. We can see a little color, uh, uh, exterior paint palette right up here for the Kia Optima for 2019. We can look at these exterior colors. This exterior color that we're showing right here looks to be what? Let's mouse over that. Ebony black. And then we have this color here, which is horizon blue. And then we have this passion red, followed by a sparkling silver followed by a snow white pearl now what i don't know and they don't say it one way or the other is sometimes with these cars not every paint color is available depending on what trim level you get so are these five colors available no matter what trim level you get or not i would think with such few colors then you would think yes there's only five colors so yes all right let's move on so kia has these cool tiles for their features so we can see that there are they have these exterior features they have these innovation features uvo is their infotainment or not their infotainment it's their um their app right every car manufacturer has an app kia calls theirs uvo 
Uh, and then we have what? Then we have their talk about their Kia DriveWise. This is all their safety tech. Then their other technology like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And then they've got their interior uh, features and their performance features. Basically, what I'm saying is we're going to go through all these different features here. But before we go through those features, I had kind of shown the gallery uh, just a moment ago. So let's actually check out the gallery. And then we'll move on and check out these features. And then we'll do the build-in price, okay? Okay, so here we are at these gallery photos. There's probably not that many... Uh, Let's so there's the exterior and then there's some interior photos. So yeah, they have quite a few. Let's start with the interior photos actually. Uh, so we can get a decent look at the uh, interior for the 2019 Kia Optima. Now, you can see that they got a little snippet, a uh, little description down at the bottom. I may or may not read that. Why? Because we're going to go check the features after this. And so it'll be a little bit redundant to read that stuff. But like I said, I may or may not. So it looks like there's 20 exterior photos let's just run through them really fast so obviously this is the kia sx interior i'm not saying this red and black is cute but you can see they're trying to make it more the uh upscale sporty version it is leather the steering wheel looks to have a little flat bottomness to it it looks like you got a driver information display here in the center uh driver uh cluster gauge cluster it looks really nice like i said i'm not a fan of the black and red interior but, you know, you can get it in black leather, I, I hope. Uh, they say there's seating for up to five. That makes sense. Here's a different shot of a Kia SX with a limited package. It has that quilted Napa leather. Here I am talking about all the stuff I said I wasn't. Uh, because, well, they're showing us images, and so we, I guess we need to know. Available steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, right? They're looking at the paddle shifters, not the windshield wiper controls, FYI. Uh, here's that standard Apple CarPlay. And Android Auto, super cool, right? There's your uh, Android Auto as well, all right? Here's the available surround view camera, so it's not a standard option. So while you do get a lot of standard features and luxuries with the 2019 Kia Optima, they don't give you everything, right? The surround view camera isn't standard. Neither is this panoramic sunroof. I bet you on the SX, though, well, maybe not even on the SX. You might still have to option it. Um, here is your bl standard blind spot assist. So that way when you're making a lane change, you'll know if there's a car in your blind spot. That's really cool. That's standard. And we're talking about a car that starts at well under $25,000. <clears> and even the Kia SX at just over $31,000, it's a lot of car for the money. That's why we're doing the SX. This car is going to be well under $40,000, well under $35,000 under $35, really. And you're going to have it loaded. Quilted leather, da 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 da. Here's the available smart key. So you got push button ignition, keyless entry, all that there. Uh, here's the available Harman Kardon Quantum Logic surround sound uh, stereo. So yeah, they're giving you a lot. Not all of it's on the house though, right? Here's the available. The word available means it's an option. Auto dimming rearview mirror, all right? You got the uh, rapid charge USB ports. You got a couple of those. Yep, you got your one-touch auto up and down driver's side and front passenger windows. You got your 12 available, right? The optional 12-way power adjustable driver's seat, including four-way power lumbar. That's also pretty cool. For your front passenger, there looks to be an available 10-way power adjustable seat with a two-way lumbar support. And then, oh, look at that. Available driver's seat integrated memory system. They call it the IMS. So there's presets for two drivers, uh, and that controls the outside rear view mirrors and the driver's seat as well. Some manufacturers, it's even more. They even change your radio presets and all that stuff. So that's kind of cool. Here's the available rear uh, side window sunshades. Very cool. I like that. We will be getting that on ours, if on our SX, if it doesn't already come with it, these available side window shades. Uh, then there's the optional LED interior lighting, right? And with the standard overall sunglass holder. So this is the standard overhead sunglass holder, and you can get these optional LED lights, right? So that was 20 of 20 interior photos. Let's quickly run through the exterior photos real fast. We'll do those at a little bit faster clip. Okay, so it looks like there's 18 exterior photos. Uh, we know that the for 2019, the Kia Optima has had some new styling. 
right? You've got that two liter top tier engine that comes in the SX. That motor puts out 245 horsepower. Although the LX, right? The LX, I'm sorry, yeah, sorry, the EX, the tier right below the SX, does also get a turbocharged motor, <clears throat> but it's a 1.6 or a smaller engine, 1.6 or 1.8 liter. Here's the Kia Optima S. All right, that's the sporty version. The S stands for sport. Here they're kind of showing the family of them. They talk about the plug-in hybrid version. As a matter of fact, they even show a plug in the background on this one. It's got a plug in it, the one in the background. Uh, yeah, look at this. They're saying for 2019, there's a new paint, apparently. That passion red might be a new paint color. I like the blue, though. The blue's not bad, and I'm not really a color, a blue guy. Uh, <clears throat> so they're showing some more shots. da 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 yeah, they're not really telling us a whole bunch now. The Kia Optima is actually very, very good looking. I actually like the Kia, uh, uh, the Stingray as well. I did a build and price of the 2018 Stingray. If you like that, I'm going to put that link up too, because that's a very nice vehicle. Ah, uh, it's actually the Kia Stinger Fastback. I, I said Stingray. I must still have Corvettes on my mind. Just this past weekend, I was at the Paralyzed Veterans of America Show and Shine Car Show, and I saw some amazing cars. You know I did a video. If you're interested in that, I'll go ahead and put a link up in the corner to that video right now. So here, again, they're talking about that UVO. Remember I told you every car manufacturer has an app. You know, lock and unlock the doors, you know, uh, find your car in a parking lot, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what the UVO is. And, uh, yeah, here they're talking about their standard rear cross traffic alert. Love that stuff. I love standard safety features. That's what's kind of cool about brand new cars is all the safety tech. Check this out. Uh, there's an optional smart welcome uh, thing where the, I guess the illuminated uh, handles light up, illuminates the door pockets as you approach the vehicle so you have a little more uh, safety. Uh, standard heated outside mirrors as well. Uh, how many more photos we got? We got four more. Uh, LED rear headlights. Or, I'm sorry, tail lights. The available dual chrome exhaust tips. And the rear diffuser. That area right here is called a rear diffuser. Uh, here is the SX's 2 liter turbocharged engine. And here they talk about how the 2019 Kia Optima uses 50% more advanced high-strength steel for strong, lightweight unibody that has outstanding rigidity. Okay, so we got through the intro. We made it through my intro. Uh, we looked at some gallery images, things like that. Now let's talk, or now let's look at the individual features. And after we look at each individual features, uh, then we'll go do the build-in price. All right, so... The first feature we're going to learn about, we're going to learn about the exterior features for the 2019 Kia Optima. All right. Cool. What they want to really talk to us about are the exterior touches, the distinctive exterior touches of the 2019 Kia Optima SX, which works out because that's what we're building in pricing. So apparently uh, there's a gloss black rear spoiler, which we can see that. There's a gloss black rear spoiler. Outside mirrors are also gloss black. And the side sills add character. So the side sill is right here. Sometimes they also call that the running board. Well, not really a running board. Can't think of the name right now. But the side sill, rocker panel. They also sometimes call this a rocker panel or, well, a side sill. And we can see there's also gloss black down there. And then there's also 18-inch gloss black and machine finish wheels. And uh, and they have, they apparently, there's many unique design details. So, Yeah. The Kia Optima SX is their top tier model. It has its own unique engine. It has its own distinct exterior styling details. They have this thing that they call, and it's an available thing. It's not standard equipment. They call it the Smart Welcome, right? And this assists by detecting your smart key and automatically unfolding the outside mirrors and turning on the Optima door pocket lights for easy entry when it's dark. Then just stand behind the Optima like this gentleman pictured here that looks like a mannequin of some sorts almost uh, with your smart key and the smart trunk opens automatically. Awesome. Well, I wasn't kidding around, boy. It wasn't going to take us long to go through these features. That's all there was to learn about the exterior features. So I guess they tell us here's the two bullets. So now we're going to learn about the UVO, which is the, like I said, the app for the you know Kia's app 
And I guess they're going to tell us about the remote climate control, the remote lock and unlock, and my POIs, which means points of interest. So what is the whole UVO deal, right? They show all these little images here. Uh, well, it's it's they say it's new, new for the Kia for 2019 is access with the UVO link. It's apparently going to make your life easier, offering smarter smarter infotainment through an enhanced telematic suite and a smartphone app. So this can do all kinds of things, like giving you access to remote lock and unlock your car, remote climate control, 24-hour roadside assistance, and all that. So they got three other things they want to tell us about, and so let's learn. So here's that remote climate control. All right, you can see the app on how and see the app and see what it looks like on the phone. So you can warm or cool down your cabin without stepping inside the vehicle. You can simply send this command to set up a reoccurring schedule. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That works out great. The winter time works out great in the summertime. Anytime the weather is extreme one way or the other, having this particular thing could work out quite nicely. How does it drain on the battery, I wonder, though? Then, of course, you can lock and unlock your doors. Here they're showing the app. You know, if you're not sure, you can lock or unlock your doors remotely. And with the UVO link with navigation, you can now prep your trip with my POIs, points of interest. You can add your favorite new places and points of interest to your POIs from the comfort of your home. So the next time you head out, your POIs will already be synced with your car for turn-by-turn -turn directions. Very cool. Okay, let's talk about this uh, Kia DriveWise now. Now they want to tell us this is their safety suite. So they're going to tell us about all kinds of stuff. Blind spot detection, smart cruise control, forward collision, uh, lane keeping, lighting and parking so let's find out about those so just to be clear this uh, kia drivewise is a suite of technologies that can not only alert you to potential accidents they can also help you avoid them so maybe it's active safety technology is all and it's standard for 2019 gives you four collision avoidance assistance lane keeping assist uh and uh yeah a few more things let's check it out here they're just talking about that standard blind spot deal, right? You can see that they show the little, the little trajectory over here, seeing that this car is in the blind spot. So they're talking about the blind spot. So that's the blind spot collision warning. And then there's the rear cross traffic collision warning. We know the deal about that, right? You're at the parking lot, you're backing out. There's lots of times where rear cross traffic alert uh, can be quite helpful. Then Kia also offers what they call the available, and because it's not standard, smart cruise control with stop and go. What's cool about this system is that it can slow down, it can apply the brakes or the accelerator to help maintain a predetermined distance from the vehicle in front of you. It, they say that it's so smart that it can bring the car to a complete stop and start off again with just a tap of the accelerator, but only in certain situations. Here they're talking about the standard for collision warning and the standard for collision avoidance assistance, right? Lots of safety features on this. There's a standard lane change assist, and then there's also lane departure warning, and then there's also lane keeping assist line, which will help keep you centered in your uh, lane. A lot of manufacturers are doing that kind of technology. There's also this available dynamic bending light, which is just the direction of lights based on the steering angle and speed of the vehicle. And then there's also this what? This is also the available high beam assist. So this is with it on, with it off, with it on, with it off. Gotcha. Here they let you know that the that the Kia Optima has park it has sensors on the bumpers to let you know if you're about to bump into something when you're trying to park. So there you go. And then they also talk about that available surround view monitor camera that gives you a 360 bird's eye view uh, of the Optima in relation to your surroundings. So yeah, your standard park distance warning reverse. And, and when you're reversing into things, this thing will give you an audible if it thinks you're about to bump into something. Like if you're going to bump into this other Optima that's behind this blue Optima. Okay, so we learned about the DriveWise. Now we're over here. Let's talk about the technology. We'll learn about the Apple CarPlay, the Android Auto, the surround view camera, 
And then outlets, do they mean USB outlets, household outlets? What kind of outlet, what kind of outlets are they talking about? We'll find out when we get there. Okay, so let's learn about Apple CarPlay. So it's standard Apple CarPlay. They don't say a whole bunch in their little snippet, but it's a proprietary system. What that means is Apple CarPlay functions the same in every manufacturer's car because Apple controls how that works, not the individual manufacturer. So as you can, the apps that you see right here, with the exception of the Kia app, it just will be replaced by some other manufacturer's app. But all these other apps are the same standard ones. So you can do your map, do your music, do your phone, uh, do your text messages, uh, send and receive text messages, all that kind of stuff there. Uh, and then there's what else? Android Auto is the same thing. It's a proprietary system. It looks the it too looks the same in every manufacturer's car, and it does the same things as the Apple CarPlay. It's just the Android Auto instead. So Apple versus Google. Here they're talking about the available Harman Kardon Harman Kardon Quantum Logic speakers. Uh, I'm sorry, so, uh, surround sound stereo. It's got 10 speakers. That's what I was looking at. 10 speakers, 630 watts of power. Uh, yeah, that's the Harman Kardon. They, uh, the Kia Optima is a very nice vehicle. I like this vehicle a lot. So there's two standard 12-volt outlets and one USB port. The center console is available with two additional USB ports and a 12-volt outlet conveniently located for back passengers okay we just have these four squares to go we're gonna learn about the interior features next then we'll learn about the performance features then we'll think learn about the safety features there's only two things they want to tell us about the safety features and we'll skip over the hybrid tech now nah, you know we'll we'll take a look at the hybrid stuff real quick because like I said this is a this is a build and price review of the 2019 Kia Optima SX but I also said and the other configurations we were going to learn about along the way so it won't take us long to find out about the hybrid we'll squeeze we'll go through that super super fast so for interior uh, details or features, and the interior, real note to stop real fast, is actually a nice place. There's analog gauges here, which means regular needle gauges, uh, but there's this whole driver command center. So it's pretty nice. Flat bottom leather steering wheel, molded grips. Uh, it's driver side console, features a clean horizontal design. It's very nice in here. It's not a bad place. And remember the price point. You're getting a lot of car for the money, I think. Here they're showing the available heated and ventilated front seats featuring cushion softness designed with varying firmness and key touch points, plus supportive seat bolsters. You could also get heated rear seats are available. So, And there's an available heated steering wheel as well. Let's quickly talk performance features because, well, that's all they have to tell us about the interior. So we're going to be building and pricing the XX. We know that. It's got the 2-liter engine. That engine makes 245 horsepower, and it makes a very nice 260 pound-feet of torque. This is a nice car for under $32,000, right? You got the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. We saw a picture of that already in the gallery. You got a sport-tuned suspension. Nice Nice car. Special interior. Uh, uh, unique design features. Yeah, very cool car. It's worth noting that even the EX with its 1.6 liter turbocharged engine features a 7 speed dual clutch transmission. And it gets really good, great gas mileage as well. We won't really get into that. Uh, well, we see 27 on the city. Sorry, I guess we will get into it. 27 in the city, 37 on the highway, and 31 mixed. That's not going to be the same for the SX. We'll need to go check out what the fuel economy is on the 2-liter engine. Before we do that, let's talk about the safety features. There's only a couple of things they wanted to tell us. So let's learn about the safety features for the 2019 Kia Optima first. And then we'll go dig up those specs on the gas mileage real fast. And then we'll look at that hybrid stuff super, 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 super quick. So there's an advanced airbag system. For the 2019 Kia Optima, that has it features dual front uh, front seat mounted side and full length side curtain airbags, high tech sensors. What do they got to say about the seat belts? Every seat comes with three point seat belts. I think that's been standard for years in cars, Kia. 
and then the t the latch system also standard in cars for a while where you can l latch the uh, car seats into the into the seat all that stuff's uh, standard fare but they're letting us know that the 2019 Kia Optima has it what is cool are these side curtain airbags though I will say that they say the 2019 Kia Optima is packed with innovation and active safety technologies like hill start assist control and vehicle stability management that works automatically they also talk about these three categories down here control braking and tires and under control they say they have the active suite of active technologies to help keep you in control right so i get it trash control system that helps reduce uh wheel spin then there's the electronic stability control system there is a vehicle stability management system and then there's even a hill start assist that keeps you from rolling backwards in between the time it takes you to take your foot off the brake to the get to the accelerator pedal then under braking they talk about electronic brake force distribution uh, that's to help, help balance your braking so you get a more I don't know to balance the load and distribution change I don't know it's good stuff then there's the anti-lock braking system and a brake assist system so you can, there's a lot of advanced safety technologies on this uh, 2019 Kia Optima a lot of stuff and then finally there's a tire pressure monitoring system that monitors inflation pressure for all four tires here's the whole thing and, and I said this in some other video. I can't remember. I've done over 400 videos, so you got to forgive me on that one. But, you know, the whole thing with these tra tire pressure monitoring system, if it just gives you an audible warning and doesn't tell you exactly the tire pressure of each tire or which individual tire is down, then you're, you're going to end up running around the whole car checking all the tires anyway. I mean, it's kind of helpful, but you understand what I'm saying? The whole point of the system is to identify the particular tire that's low. Not to just chirp and say, uh, tire's low. Well, which one? So you, you see where I'm going with that? All right, let's move on. Okay, and then lastly for features, yeah, the hybrid uh, technology, right? It's pretty cool. So they've got a plug-in hybrid, and they have a hybrid and a plug-in hybrid. These new additions, they combine an electric motor and a 2-liter 4-cylinder gas engine that puts out over 270 pound-feet of torque. The plug-in hybrid also allows you to choose an all-electric operation EV mode. So that's really all they had to tell us about their 2019 uh, hybrid and plug-in hybrid vehicle. So with that said, let's go actually check those specs so we can find the gas mileage on our, two, on our SX. Okay, so here it is. We can see our SX over here on the far right-hand side. It shows us some color combinations. We can get the all-black Napa leather. I'm all down for that. We'll talk about that in a minute because we'll be doing the build a price here in a second. Uh, here is our fuel economy. We get 21 miles to the gallon in the city. You get 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. And the 2019 Kia Optima SX with the 2-liter turbocharge gets 24 miles to the gallon with mixed driving. And it does come available in all five of those exterior colors. Remember, I had talked about that uh, way, way, way at the beginning of the video. Okay, so now that we've done all this, let's go do the build and price. So yeah, here we are. Our Kia, I'm sorry, our Kia Optima SX, $31,990. It comes quite loaded. You get the UVO link with navigation, Harman Kardon, the power front seats. They're heated and ventilated. You get the panoramic sunroof. Remember I said I wasn't sure? Panoramic sunroof. You get those dynamic bending lights we learned about. And we already know that the, the SX get those the gloss black appearance. It gets the gloss black spoiler, uh, side mirror caps, and the door sill, the rocker panel down there. And it gets some unique wheels and all of that. So let's build this thing and check our colors and packages next. Okay, so this is interesting. Depending on what exterior color you choose, you get a varying array of interior options. So with the sparkling silver, you can do the red leather or black leather. If you get a snow white pearl paint, then you can get, wow, you can get the, uh, looks like a burgundy Napa leather. You can get the red leather. You can get the black Napa or the red leather. I'm sorry, the black leather. With the blue, you got limited selections. With the red, you only get black leather. And with the black, it opens up all windows. So it's interesting. We're going to do our Kia with the black um, exterior paint. 
and we're going to do the black Napa leather. Um, can we see an interior shot? They don't really show a good interior shot. We're not going to mess with it. Let's move on. Actually, we are going to mess with it. This was that, that little virtual. We could do a virtual walk around of the interior of the 2019 Kia Optima with that Napa uh, leather. And that's nice. This is nice. This is a car that's well under $35,000. Okay? This is a nice sedan. It's got pretty good horsepower. It's respectable. All of it. All right, let's move on. So apparently by getting that quilted Napa leather, we bought ourselves the $3,800 uh, SX Limited package. So I guess we're not sitting at $35,000. Here we're at $36,715. I don't care. It's still cheap. All right? It's still cheap. We get a lot. We have a lot of value for the money. Now let's go check our options. Which really more nothing which are really nothing more than the uh, accessories for your 2019 Kia Optima. So we'll just look through these real fast. Uh, I do actually like the mud guards for a hundred dollars. I like the mud guards. And I like the wheel locks. So we can go to the summary now. So life for this vehicle started at $31,990. We got that SX Limited package. It was $3,800. Now we're sitting at $36,870. This is a lot of car. A lot of great car for the money. And if you like the way that I've built and priced this 2019 Kia Optima SX, I'm going to put the link to this build summary in the description below. So you can go ahead and spec your vehicle out just like this one. Okay, so yeah, we're going to wrap this video up. That car, the Kia, the 2019 Kia Optima SX, awesome, awesome car. I think you get a lot of value for your money at every price point. Even the base model is nice. They're all nice. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2019 Kia Optima SX uh, helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video. Please, speaking of video, check out those video links that I've put up. All right? Have a wonderful day.